Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm here to talk about rigor adjustments in four steps. The first step is rigor installation. Second step is setting the height. Third step is rigor span. And the fourth step is how to square the rigor. The tools that you will need are 7 16 wrench, a 3 8 wrench, measuring tape, Masking tape or any tape that you have available, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a level that you can place across the gunnel. So the first step, installing the rigger, we're going to take the rigger and we're going to position it in the rails with the bow side of the rigger into the rails and then moving back towards the bow bolts before we drop the stern end down. Once the rigger is in place, then we're going to take the stern bolts and we're going to move them into place on the rigger and just tightening them up, finger tightness. And once they're to a point where you can't tighten them up anymore with your fingers. Then we're going to take the 7 16 wrench and the general rule of thumb when we start to use the 7 16 wrench is two finger tightness. So we want to alternate between tightening both sides so that the rigor goes in square with an equal amount of pressure. Once you get to a point where it starts to tighten up the two finger tightness I was referring to means that if I can't tighten it up any further with two fingers, then it's tightened, tightened enough. As soon as we're in that position, we're going to take the nuts and we're going to lock them against the rigor rail. We'll take the 7 16 wrench and we'll lock them in on both sides. Moving on to step number two, we're going to adjust the height of the oar locks. To do this, we'll take a level that can span across the gunnels, and we'll be measuring the height from this position on the oar lock. You want to have a centimeter overlap starboard over port and if you want to make any adjustment on the height of the oar lock we'll take the 7 16 wrench and the nut inside here will loosen up and the oar lock can shift up and down so as soon as I get the height that I need then I can lock this nut back into place with my 7 16 wrench and move on to the other end and do the same adjustment if need be. In step number three, we're going to be adjusting the span. The first thing we're going to do is take our 7 16 wrench and we're going to adjust the pin so that the flat edge of the pin is facing towards the boat and we're going to make this adjustment on both sides so that we can fix the measuring tape across the pins, hook it onto the flat side, the outside of the pin, and we're going to be measuring to the inside of the pin on the side that we're standing. Now you're going to want to loosen the nut up for the oar lock so that we can adjust it in and out to achieve the measurement in the span that we desire. So if we're going to be adjusting to 160 centimeters to set the spread, I will shift the C bracket so that it's set to 160 centimeters on the inside flat edge of the pin. The next measurement I take is going to be from the outside of the C track 
and I'm going to be measuring to the center of the pin on the side that I'm standing. My measurement says 97 centimeters. Now I'll take the same measurement on the opposite side and that will give me another number. If that number is 96 centimeters, I need to split the difference while also achieving a three millimeter difference towards the outside of the starboard orlock to account for the one centimeter gap differential in the height. As soon as I have those measurements set in place, I'm going to recheck my span to ensure that it's still set at 160 centimeters. And if it is, then I'll take my 7 16 wrench and I'll lock the nut in place on both sides and my span is set. In step number four, we're going to be checking the square of the rigger. We want to ensure that the rigger is in place with the stern side bolts firmly setting the rigger into the rails. We'll then take our measuring tape, which is fixed into the number clip with a piece of masking tape to ensure it's not going to be moving or shifting. And we're going to measure to the center of the pin on the port and the starboard side. And we want to see the exact same number on both sides. If it's off, we're going to loosen up the stern side rigger bolts first with our 7 16 wrench. And then we'll make the adjustment to the bow side rigger rail bolts with our Phillips head screwdriver. If the number that we're trying to achieve on the port or starboard side is off, we're going to try to move the bow side bolt towards the stern of the rigger rail. Once we've made that adjustment, we'll take our 7 16 wrench and we'll tighten the stern side bolt so that the rigger is firmly in place and the rails. We'll check the measurement again. And we'll see if we have the same number on both port and starboard side. And if we do, then the rigger square is set. We will then take the, the nuts on the bow side rail and lock them against the rail itself with our 7 16 wrench. Now the bow side bolts on the rigger rail never have to be moved again. The rigger will always be square when you install or you take it off at any point. The only bolts that you need to move are the stern side rigger rail bolts. That will tighten the rigger in place and it will loosen it so that you can take the rigger off.